Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Last week, a client mailed me with a query. They had several PDF files and needed to convert them into editable Excel files. Trouble was, the client was using a Mac. And even though the Mac version of Excel includes Power Query, it's only available to users on the beta channel, which this client isn't on. And even if they were, the Mac version doesn't include Get Data from PDF. So if you're a Mac user and you need to convert a PDF into an editable Excel file, this one's for you. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo files from the link in the description below. The PA to the CEO is collating a list in Excel of all the key dates for next year and needs to add these to the Excel file. The first thing they tried was a simple copy and paste. Select the data in the PDF, copy, go into Excel, paste, and this was the result. Not pretty, is it? However, the Mac version of Excel contains this handy little feature, insert data from picture. So step one is to convert the PDF to a JPEG or PNG file, doesn't matter which. Unless your Mac has been configured differently, Preview, which is one of the pre-installed apps on a Mac, is the default app for opening PDFs. Once you've opened the PDF in Preview, you can select File, Export, set the format to JPEG or PNG, and then click Save. I don't want to import the entire PDF into Excel, I only want the three columns. So instead of exporting the entire PDF to an image, I'll take a screenshot. Now I can do that in one of two ways. I can use the Max built-in keyboard shortcut, Command, Shift and 4, and draw around the bit that I want. Or I can select in Preview, File, Take Screenshot from Selection and then draw around the area that I want to use. That creates a separate preview file with just the area that I've selected. And with this file selected, just go to File Save, and I'll save this one as Dates. Again, you can choose JPEG or PNG. I'll leave it as JPEG, stick it on my desktop, and click Save. I'll then go to Excel and select Insert Data from Picture, picture from file, select the JPEG file, dates, and click open. In this case, it's found two entries that it's not sure about. So if I click on review, it'll allow me to review each entry. I'll change zoom ID to a capital I, and also I'll put a space between zoom and ID, and click accept. And for the second thing that it's querying, it thinks that it's an I, QI, I will change that to a one and click accept. Sometimes you can just accept what it's suggesting, but as you can see in this instance, I've made changes to both. And then click on insert data. Confirm that you want to insert the data. And there we go. The data now is completely editable. I can change the content, I can change the format and so on. Whilst we're looking at converting PDFs to Excel, if your Mac has the Monterey or Ventura operating system installed, you can take advantage of a couple of features. Now, if you're new to Mac and you want to check what operating system you've got, click on the Apple icon at the top and select About This Mac. And you can see here that I've got Monterey installed. One of the features is live text, and that allows you to treat text in an image as real text. The other is the ability to translate said text. So here's a PDF written in French. It's come from our French colleagues at our ice cream factory in Marseille. I need to translate the flavour names before adding them into an Excel report. To save time, I've already taken a screenshot of the relevant part of the PDF, and this is the screenshot opened in preview. Because this Mac has Monterey installed, I can actually select the text. Then with the text selected, I can right click and choose translate. It knows that it's French and it's assuming that I want to translate into English. I can change those settings, but I'm happy with what it's offered me. So I click copy translation. Then back in Excel, 
all I have to do is paste. Now in this example, it's not perfect. I'll need to delete the blank rows and use text to columns to break the text into separate columns, but it's certainly quicker than doing a manual translate and retyping or copying and pasting one at a time. Finally, just to show you that it's not just lists and tables that can be imported into Excel, this menu started life as a PDF and has been saved out as a JPEG. I'm going to select the flavours of the ice creams along with the prices, hit copy, then back in Excel, I will paste. Now, as you can see what it's done, it's put all the prices underneath the flavours, despite in the original file, the prices being to the right of the flavours. But all I need to do is select the prices and cut and paste. So there we go. How to import the content of a PDF into Excel and make that content editable. If you're a Mac user and you have a need for this feature, let me know how it works for you. Well, I hope that's been useful. As always, thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm up to, you can subscribe to the channel and you can also subscribe to my free newsletter. You can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.